what's up guys? Welcome back to another Toe Piglet video. Today, we're gonna fix up my trailer, or I guess like that. We're gonna fix up my trailer. Oh no, the guy's pulling in, hold on. Okay, so that was kind of rude, and it was a lady, actually not a guy, shame on me for assuming a truck driver's gender. Uh, but anyways, here's the problem of what I'm having on the trailer, okay? Let me show you on the good side how it's supposed to be. Okay, so here is the problem with my trailer right now. Now this is the good side. I know it looks kind of broken and messed up, but this is the good side. So what happened was I had a leaf spring break and this leaf spring, the, or the leaf spring that was there before was too long and it ended up in landing on the C channel. It bent the C channel, broke it, and so, but then what happened was when it broke the C channel, it actually broke this cross member right here under in the bracket. I don't know if you can see that. And what that did is I realized that this is your single point of failure on any trailer. They're all done like this. I instead put a little piece of metal right in there to kind of support this bracket. And I only did that just on this side because the bracket on that side, I didn't have a, a piece that like stuck in there. And so I kind of just hammered this thing in and that's it. And so it's been in there and it's been great. I haven't had a single issue so far on this side until we go to the other side. And as you can see on this side, it broke that cross member and now all of the weight on my trailer is sitting on this C-channel. And what that does in turn is your tires have less and less clearance, so they're rubbing on the top part of your deck, I guess. Or, yeah, they're rubbing on your trailer deck, essentially. So this is what I'm gonna show you how to fix. Like, this is an emergency roadside repair until you can get to a welder. So this is what we're gonna be fixing today. Now, there's a couple things you're gonna need, and one of which is a little bit of metal. Um, the only metal that I know you can get is inside, if you go to the truck stop, you can get this right here, and this is called a coil rack. This is thin Chinese steel, basically what the trailer is made out of. <laughs> uh, now, you need a way to cut that somehow, so I have a grinder. That's just, you, got, you gotta use what you have. I have a grinder. If you didn't have a grinder, then figure out something else. I have a couple of jacks. So the first step is put the trailer on jacks and not the trailer axle, not the trailer wheel. We actually have to lift it by the frame. So that's what we're gonna do. Jack it up, put it in the air and let the leaf spring drop off of the C channel. Okay, so now as you can see, the leaf spring is no longer right up against the C-channel. And our goal is going to be to put some steel in there. But as you can see, here's the other piece right there. So all of the weight is riding on those little bit of welds and that's it. This is the single point of failure on these trailers. I don't like that. It's not that hard to put something right above that. So what I think I'm gonna do is fold this back down and then put a steel on top of that. Okay, so now imagine that this is where all your weight is riding on, right? And that's the single point of failure that I'm talking about. That's exactly what breaks. And so you can see the welds on this side actually right there already starting to break. And so now that we put this thing down, I obviously don't have a welder with me. I don't actually even know how to weld. The only welding I know how to do is JB weld. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little piece of metal in here with some JB weld and then we will fix it after I get unloaded and deliver, I will get this, make sure it's fixed. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, look at that. Let's go put it in. Okay, so I just put it in there and let's drop it down so that it can like smash the pile all together. And then we gotta hit the road because I've been, you know, working and so it's like I started my 14 hour clock so I wanna finish out at least a little bit of hours today, so. I'm gonna clean up, we're done basically. It, it definitely did not go as smooth as I thought. Uh, the camera wasn't focusing sometimes and I didn't have, oh battery died, I didn't cut enough strips so. Uh, and that's, you know, maybe that's the takeaway with business. It never goes as planned, but it's still better than a nine to five, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that was the moral of the story, but anyways. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I gotta end it somewhere. Uh, the next vlog is gonna be like, oh, I broke down again. I'm kidding. Let me know what you guys think about my Jerry rig or ghetto rig or whatever, or Jimmy rig. Let me know what you guys think about that and in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, if you are sitting over there and just watching the video and you go like, Alex, there's no way that's gonna work. If you were just getting ready to type that comment, save it, you'd be right. <laughs> it's not good, boys. So basically, uh, what ended up happening is I stopped after 10 miles and there was a piece like sliding out and I hammered it back in and then I drove 10 more miles and it was sliding forward and so I hammered it back in and so basically it's not working out and I'm like you know I should probably stop and, and fix it again let's go cut up some more metal the problem is the grinder had a bad wheel and I don't have the tool to unscrew the wheel and so I had to I just I was outside fixing that and then as I'm fixing that it starts to rain like crazy okay so a few minutes later um, and the rain has stopped okay so the plan is um, here's the re the remaining part of the um, the coil rack the plan is I think I'm just gonna cut right here just cut this thing off have this little triangle and try to fit this thing in there so it's one solid piece. The problem before is because it was multiple pieces and it wasn't permanently welded, JB Weld was not enough. They, you know what I mean, they just, they kept moving in and out and I had to keep beating them back in. So, that's the plan. Cut this off, so just one simple cut should be really fast, really easy. Okay, the real question is, how do we make this thing fit inside? Okay, so I tried to measure it a little bit and essentially the problem is it's just too wide. So if I just cut right here where this hole is essentially, uh, then squish it together, it'll fit right in. Okay, got my jack, got my dunnage, got my uh, thing, contraption. As you saw, I dropped it. Now, I don't know what the point of this video is, but it doesn't go the way it seems or the way it's supposed to go. It doesn't always look that easy. And sometimes you just gotta, you know, put a Band-Aid on it and keep going. So again, I don't know what the point of this video is, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what it takes and this is uh, occasionally what it takes. Anyways, comment below what your thoughts are and shoot, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so. Um, by the way, real fast, I'm not trying to block the fuel island. I already filled up. The guy in front of me has been here for a while. So, but a quick update on this thing. Okay, let me show you what's going on over here. Uh, I think I'm a wicked genius. <laughs> so as you can see, um, I what ended up happening is I didn't want that piece to fall out, right? So what I did is I, I, I put it in there, hammered it in. It's supporting all the weight. And I, I didn't want to go buy JB Weld again, so I just wrapped it in duct tape. 
and it's been holding just fine. So that's the band-aid on the situation right now while we're waiting for this guy to pull forward. Yeah, I, it's working out great. I've been driving for a few hours now. I stopped a couple of times and checked and it hasn't moved at all. Uh, so that's gonna be the band-aid slash temporary fix for the weekend. And then Monday we're gonna deliver and then get it re-welded on and stuff like that, so. All right, you guys, real quick update. I just finished filling up over here at the pump. I pulled forward. Let me show you what they fixed on the trailer, okay? It's really, really cool. Okay, so that's that side. Now let's go over to this other side. So you can see that right there, I have four brand new uh, brakes, right? Um, four brand new backing plates. Uh, I think that's what's the, the proper term. But the important part, which is the part of the whole problems and what why the issues I've been having, those rear uh, mounting brackets or whatever they're called they were redesigned to now have a tube in there and the tube is welded instead of like the old Dexter parts where they had just a flat piece so I'm glad Dexter realized that there's a problem and they started making the uh, hanger br hanger brackets that's what they're called so I'm glad they realized the errors and started adjusting those hanger brackets so that they, they can last a little longer so I'm hoping these will last much longer. Um, for me, I, do, I really don't care because it, uh, <laughs> my trailer is a week out right now. I got an update from the trailer dealer. They're like, dude, your trailer's a week out. It's built, it's on the truck, it's on the flatbed. So it's shipped, it's packed. It's not shipped yet, but they're waiting for a truck to come pick it up. So my trailer's built, it's ready. It just needs to show up to the dealer. And I asked the dealer, I'm like, hey, can I go pick it up um, like in Texas? Because that's where it's coming from. All my trailers come from Texas. Uh, but anyways, that's beside the point. So I'm glad that they fixed it. It's right. You saw those welds. You saw that good looking stuff that, that, that was done. Uh, new brakes, new brackets, all this stuff. I hope the next buyer or the next, the I hope the buyer that's taking my over my trailer is going to enjoy it, is going to use it, and it, hopefully it's going to be reliable for them. Um, unlike it has been for me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.